Hi there, today I'm going to show you how scientists can use physics to do magic. I'm going to turn on an ordinary light bulb using my bare hands. Well, I'll need a little bit of help, and that help comes from a plasma ball. How do these things work? There's steel wall in the centre of them, and that acts as a capacitor collecting negative charges. Negative charges are electrons, and as any like charges get together on a small surface area, they start to repel each other, so the electrons fly away from each other. In doing so, the electrons ionise the gas that's inside the globe. What's ionisation? Ionisation occurs when electrons bombard the gas particles, releasing more electrons. This makes the gas particles positively charged, and because there's now a soup of positively charged um, gas particles and negatively charged electrons, we have a plasma, hence the name. When ionisation occurs, energy is released, energy in the form of light. Hence we see these beautiful streamers. Now different gases let off different amounts of energy and give us different coloured light. The streamers are basically the path of the electrons, and movement of electrons is what we call electricity. Electricity always wants to take the easiest path to the ground, or to Earth. And when nothing touches the plasma ball, the easiest path is through the air, because air is a conductor of electricity. But we are also conductors of electricity, and we conduct electricity easier than air. So if we touch the plasma ball, the electricity goes through us, and then to the ground. So it's easy to see why, if a light bulb is between the plasma ball and us, electricity flows through the light bulb, and turns the light bulb on. That's where the magic happens. Now because the electricity wants to take the easiest path to the ground, if you hold the light bulb in, in half, the electricity flows up the light bulb and then comes down through your hand into the ground, so only half the light bulb's lit. I can show you these, but I'll turn the light off first. So I've got the light bulb in one hand, and the other hand of the light bulb will touch the plasma ball, and hey presto, the light turns on. Now if I hold half the light bulb, only half the light bulb turns on, and that's because the electricity wants to take the easiest path through my hand to the ground. This is where you can do some really cool magic tricks, using this very principle. And that shows you exactly why scientists are really magicians. Thank you very much.